and go. Morning sweets, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jillian and today is breakfast day. Breakfast day! Awesome. So today, y'all are in luck, we're going to be doing two breakfast recipes. We're going to be doing a cinnamon French toast bake and we're going to be doing a breakfast skillet hash. So we're going to start off with uh, the French toast bake. Now, any time that I have a, rec a recipe video, all of those recipes are going to be linked down in the description, uh, along with any changes that I may or may not have made for the, for the particular recipe. So today we're going to start off with the French toast bake. We're going to start off with a 9 by 13. Um, I use a Pyrex glass dish uh, just because the heat distribution is not better, but I like the way that it nicely cooks everything. So I've already melted a half a cup of stick of butter, or half cup of butter that was a stick. Anyway, so we're going to be just kind of pouring the melted butter to the bottom of the glass dish. It doesn't have to be completely spread out. Um, while you're putting in the ingredients, it's all just kind of kind of mix it all together anyway. So I already have the oven preheating to 375. So when that goes off, it'll be nice and hot and ready. Um, we're going to be taking a can. Now the original recipe calls for two 12 and a half ounce cans of cinnamon rolls. Uh, but today we're just going to be using one 17.5 ounce can. And we're going to put that to the side and do the scary part of making cinnamon rolls. Now, obviously we see that we're using a, a canned cinnamon roll. Today's just not that kind of day. Eh. Hold on. There you go. One hit. Uh, today is not that kind of, I'm going to make it from scratch day. Most of it's from scratch. Um, but let's not fool ourselves how many of us have successfully made homemade cinnamon rolls. And how many of us have the energy to do so? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cinnamon rolls out of the can, drop it in the trash, and each cinnamon roll, there's five of the big cinnamon rolls right here. Counter is clean. My hands are clean. We're going to divide the cinnamon rolls out. And I am going to reach inside. This is a pastry cutter. Um, I just, I'm going to use it instead of a regular knife, but you can always use it instead of a regular knife. You can always use a regular knife. Um, but this, I kind of have more control. So if you have one, great. If not, don't worry about it. You don't have to have all the tools that I'm using today. It's just a little bit easier for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the cinnamon rolls into quarters. Okay, so after we do the initial two cuts, cutting it into quarters, we're going to take each of our quarters and we're just going to Cut them into half. So we're making eight pieces from each of our cinnamon rolls. Now, it's not because that particular number is going to mean anything. It's just because you want the pieces to be big enough to where it looks like you're filling the dish. And you will fill the dish um, because these are going to expand. So you don't want them too chunky because they'll expand too much. And you don't want them too small because then it just looks like you have nothing in the dish. So I'm going to start just kind of putting them in the dish. And there is the oven is preheated. Now obviously some of the, the layers are going to come undone. That's totally fine. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna matter once it's baking if the if the corn if the edges come off. It's all gonna melt together and it's all gonna be pretty tasty. Now we're just gonna do that. 
Now, honestly, you can use any flavor of cinnamon roll that you want. This is a pretty easy going recipe that if you want to use the, the orange cinnamon rolls, the blueberry cinnamon rolls, um, I know they've got the, like the Cinnabon ones, just whatever, doesn't matter. Use whatever you like. Um, and we're going to be using maple syrup in this recipe. Also, if you want to do like a strawberry, a blueberry, blackberry, do a whole thing of it. Nobody cares. It's your bake. And I'm going to reach for my towel and I'm just going to kind of scrape. There's a lot of, a lot of cinnamon going on. So I'm going to put this over here in the sink because we're not going to use it again. So now what we're going to do is we have five whole eggs that we're going to use. Whole eggs, not just the whites, not just the yolks. Um, and we're going to be putting them into one of these nifty little things. So it's because we're going to be scrambling them anyway. So you're not going to want to put the eggs straight into the dish because that's just, you always, you can't blend it that way. So I'm cracking it on a flat surface like you should because you don't want any eggshell in your mix because that's gross. Yes, it's calcium. No, you don't want to eat it in your bake. So there you go. I'm going to be taking a very, very complex utensil, nice fork. And I'm going to be adding vanilla, and I'm going to be adding some ground cinnamon um, and cream. I'm going to be using heavy cream today, using a half cup of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to crack this open. Maybe. You know how in school, when you always got the little milk cartons, and sometimes you just had to like rip them completely open because they wouldn't open at the mouth like they should? Well, that's what's happening right now, and it's not fun. But we're open, we don't have any little paper pieces sticking in there, so that's good. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to find my liquid measuring cup. We're gonna cover, we're gonna uh, fill half, which is right here. So that's half a cup right there. We're gonna do that. And half a cup. Awesome, great. We're gonna pour that in. Now don't forget liquid measuring cups and solid measuring cups, they're different. Very, very, very different. Uh, liquid is always. You, you just want to use a liquid measuring cup if you're going to do liquids. Because then you're just not going to get the right consistency of everything. And it's just going to be gross. It's not going to be gross. You should just use a liquid measuring cup. So then we're going to be doing two teaspoons. Which is right here. The purple one. Uh, we'll do cinnamon first just because we don't need cinnamon vanilla. I mean, not that it's bad. It's good, but it's not great. So there's one teaspoon and two teaspoons. Put that back on there. We're gonna open our vanilla. And this is only gonna be, it's actually gonna match. It's gonna be two teaspoons. My bad. So one and two into the bowl of the cup. My spout. Take our fancy utensil and we are going to beat all of it. Make sure to mix the cinnamon all in there. Sometimes the cinnamon doesn't want to mix in. Sometimes it just sits on the top of the liquid. So you want to really get in there, scrape the cup, get in there with a quick whisk 
making sure that you get all of the yolk incorporated into the white incorporated in with the cream and the vanilla and the cinnamon. Awesome. Now let that drain a little bit. Put that to the side. Now, I picked a spouted measuring cup because what we're going to be doing next is just we're going to pour. No particular way. No particular form. We're just going to pour. We're pouring. Make sure to get the egg mixture really in between all of the cinnamon roll pieces because this is what's going to really make the bake. Because you don't want the cinnamon roll getting dry, kind of crusty. You don't want that. That's not, that's not delicious at all. Move that out of the way. Now, you think we're done. No, we're not. Now, the next couple steps are going to be kind of up to you. Uh, you can or can't or don't want to use maple syrup. You don't have to use syrup. Um, you don't have to use maple syrup if you still want the syrup. You can use any flavor like I was saying before. I'm just going to be using maple syrup. Um, so that's going to be three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. And again, I'm going in with my uh, liquid measuring cup. A little liquid, just a little, little thick. So I'm going to measure out three quarters of a cup. You might think that's a lot you don't have to use this much. If you feel like that's a lot of syrup, then that's a lot of syrup. Go with your gut. Sometimes you may... So we learned that a uh, camera's kind of messing up. Uh, luckily I hadn't already poured in the maple syrup, so that's a good thing. Um, but what I was saying was uh, you don't have to use maple syrup. I said that earlier. I'm just going to kind of go off of that. Um, you don't have to use the three quarters of a cup. You don't have to use regular maple syrup. You can use whatever flavor of syrup that you want as long as it is a syrupy consistency. Don't use like corn syrup or anything because that's, that's not the flavor that you're going for. You want it to be some sort of flavored syrup. Um, so we've got the three quarters of a cup of maple syrup in here, which now that I'm looking at it is, it looks like a lot of maple syrup, but it's not going to go to waste. So what we're going to do, same as with the egg bake, you're just going to kind of pour no rhyme or reason, but you do want to make sure that you're getting all that syrup really mixed in there. Can I get it along the edges? Jesus, there's a lot of syrup. I should have rethought this. Oh well, we're already in it. You're in it to win it, y'all. Can't remember if that was a movie or not. In it to win it. I'm pretty sure it is. Um. So now we're done with our maple syrup, at least. Now, again, like I said, the last couple steps of actually putting the bake together, those are completely optional, uh, with or without syrup, maple syrup or another flavor, and then of course, crushed pecans. Now. Obviously, if you're allergic to peanuts, or just to nuts in general, don't use this stuff. Unless you're not going to eat it. But even then, some people have allergic reactions just from being in the same room as a nut. It's not good. So we have about six ounces of crushed pecans. Now, the recipe calls for a cup, but most of the like packets of pecans, unless you get them in bulk, they're going to be about six or seven ounces. It's again, it's not going to completely ruin the recipe. It's not going to be the end of the world. So you can just kind of go in with the container, 
dump it. No. I wouldn't do that because some places you're just going to get a lot of, like, huge chunks and it's just not going to be even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in just with my hands and very slowly kind of, not drizzle, because you can't really drizzle a solid, it's hard. Um, just kind of put in pecans where I like it, where I don't. I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, let's see. So the pecans came in like a pack of halves. You can always find them crushed. I like to keep uh, them in like halves or holes just in case I use the same bag for a different recipe and it doesn't call for crushed pecans or chopped pecans or anything like that. So I just kind of gave them a rough chopping in a uh, manual food processor. So there we go. I'm gonna put that back to the side. Now, once it's baked, we're going to make like a, a glaze using the uh, icing that came with the cinnamon rolls. Why well, not want not? So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go straight into the oven, that 375 degree oven, uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, in the description, I'll put the converted scale. I should have done that already, but I didn't. Um, to what the 375 is. So this is just gonna sit in there 26 to 28 minutes. I'll probably end up putting it in for about 28 minutes. And of course it's gonna depend on your your oven. You know the temp. You know how it does with certain things at certain temperatures. So we're gonna go ahead, bring this to our nicely preheated oven. And I'm gonna put it on the middle rack kind of push that right in there. So like I said, we're going to put it in for 28 minutes. I'm going to set a timer for 28 minutes and start. When we come back, once that's all nice and baked, we're going to take it out of the oven, rest it, then we're going to make our icing. See you in just a second. Okay. Behold the bake. So, uh, baked 28 minutes, left it to cool down for about 15 minutes. Uh, glass is still a little warm. It's okay. I've got it under on a towel so that we're not, you know, ruining the counters too much. Uh, I've already taken the cinnamon roll icing, microwaved it for about 15 seconds, put it just in a different bowl. So, what the original recipe calls for is just for you to get the icing, kind of drizzle it, drizzle a little bit more maple syrup, and then do a dusting of powdered sugar. We're going to do all that, but I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla to the, to the icing, and that's just going to kind of help the flavor a little bit more. That's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna take a little spoon and just kind of mix it in there. And again, you don't have to do the vanilla if you don't want to. I'm just kind of adding it for a little bit more flavor. So I'm just gonna kind of take my, my spoon and we're gonna Start drizzling. So, so as you can see, it almost looks kind of like a cake. A cinnamon roll pecan cake which when you serve it that's gonna kind of what it's gonna be looking like hmm. I'm just gonna, there's a little bit more in the bowl 
Um, I did that on purpose. You'll see why. And I'm going to take a maple syrup. And I'm not going to go around like I did with the icing. This is just a really quick drizzle of maple syrup. Because again, you've already got a lot of maple syrup in there. And I'm going to take my powdered sugar. And I'm going to get my nifty little duster. See if I'm going to be able to go through this. grab this big spoon and do this over the bake. You don't want to do this on the counter or like over the counter because then you're just wasting powdered sugar. And I just did exactly that on the way over to it. So a good big heaping spoonful. And then we're just going to dust it and go over the whole thing. Like Christmas. And put that right over here. So that's it in the pan. It looks pretty darn delicious. Um, I'm going to come over here and grab a nice little bowl. Got my spoon next to it. Awesome. So we're just going to go in, break it apart to get that nice corner piece. See the steam? If you can see it, it looks pretty, pretty good. It's nice and hot and warm. Oh yeah, a little bit more. And then I'm going to come back over with a little bit of icing left and just do a quick extra little swirl of the icing. And there it goes. There it is, guys. So, hopefully I can't have a cooking show without you know, taste test. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty tasty. Oh, yeah. That's definitely going to be eaten later. I might even feed the cameraman. We'll see. Okay. So, with that, you can put a cover on it, put it in the fridge, or, you know, if you have, you know, family, a bunch of people in your house, this will pretty much be gone by the end of breakfast. It's like a dessert breakfast. And it makes you happy because it's sugar and cinnamon rolls and everything else. So, I'll put this away. And the next thing that we're going to be working on is our breakfast hash bake. Hey guys, sorry about my hair. It's real bad this morning. Um, so as I was editing the footage for the videos, uh, I realized that with just the cinnamon French toast, it was like a 23 minute long video. And I don't wanna make you guys sit through any longer than that really. Um, so this is gonna be added on at the end. So it's probably like in a 25, 26 minute video. Probably not, I don't think this is gonna be that long. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to finish editing the rest of the footage and I'm going to release the second recipe on Friday. So it's still going to be released, um, just not with the rest of the video. But that's fine. That's totally fine. That's two videos this week. Awesome. Anyway, um, so if you guys want, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd really like, and if you want to see some more videos, hit the notification bell uh, and move it to all videos so that you don't miss anything that I put out. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it for today. Thanks guys for joining me and being in the kitchen with me, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye!